in a world of vanilla action films all trying to be about revenge, betrayal, or assassins. It is good to get that chocolate or strawberry flavor every once in a while. A film that is fun, entertaining, and doesn't require you to think or analyze what is going on. Just here is your drink, here is your snack, sit down and enjoy the film. Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional, and this is Dave from Nerdbox, uh, accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode, we are talking about Cop Shop. So fire up that Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. Teddy Moretto is out of gas. Literally. When his car runs out of gas, he conceives a plan to go into hiding into a small town police station. Seems like a good idea. Mm -hmm. However, he didn't plan for hitman Bob Vidic to also show up there with the ultimatum of be killed or your family is killed. Only... Vidic is not the only man looking for Moretto, and long story short, things are about to get very bleak for Gun Creek PD. Before we dive into this, I have to say that this is probably, no, this is the best action movie that came out this year, and probably since John Wick. This was directed by Joe Carnahan, who did Smoking Aces and Boss Level. Boss Level, if you haven't checked it out, do that. Smoking Aces was really good, too. Yeah, We haven't was. gone back to watch it yeah, in a while, but yeah. it was an excellent film. I think that's what it is. I don't remember a whole lot of it just because it's been a while. I know we saw it. I know I liked it, but it's been a while. I have to say that the director needs to stay in this genre type of film. Definitely, because Be he's really good at it. Yes. <laughs> he reminds me of... The director of The Gentleman, who slips my mind at the moment. Guy Ritchie? Yes. <laughs> yes. I know, I'm thinking, how do you forget his name? <laughs> the films that he's delivered, Boss Level, Smoking Aces, and Cop Shop are on that level. Yeah, definitely. Teddy Moretto is played by Frank Grillo. Bob Vidic is played by Gerard Butler. And they're not the best point. They're not. So the absolute best part of this movie is Alexis Louder mm -hmm. as Valerie Young. She is a you know deputy or second in command mm -hmm. at the police station that they end up at. Mm -hmm. She steals the movie. Yes. And we're going to talk about why. So what did you think? Well, she was in the Watchmen series. Mm -hmm. And she was also in the Tomorrow War with Chris Pratt. Mm -hmm. Also, Toby Huss is in this movie as Anthony Lamb, and he's a close second to Alexis Louder because he was so fucking funny. But he's good. You expect <laughs> exactly. that from Exactly. Alexis you... Louder is like an up-and-comer. I, I wouldn't have picked her out. When you see Toby appear on the screen, you're doing that the DiCaprio woman's like, oh! Yeah. Yes! Yes. Because we didn't have a clue that he was in this because, of course, they focused on Frank Grillo and Gerard Butler, so we didn't have a clue that Toby Huss was in this, but of course, he was like a nice added bonus because he's funny as hell. Mm -hmm. His delivery is just always amazing. I love this movie. I would go back and watch it again and again. Yeah. It's going to be like another gentleman type movie, I think. And John Wick, because that's another one that we sit down and watch a lot, like whenever it's on TV. So I absolutely love this movie, minus Frank Grillo's long hair and man bun. It worked. <laughs> it I did it work. Did it made it, it really worked for the character because it made him look like a sleaze ball. Gerard Butler. I mean, you can't go wrong. I, really, we went into this movie watching it based on those two names. Yes. You know, Frank Grillo, Gerard Butler. We love them both. Needed to see it. There was no question about it. Yeah. It's like, you know, you're going down your checklist of things you want to see in the movie. It's like, oh, Gerard Butler, check. Frank Grillo. Oh, check. Exactly. I don't need to see anything else. Exactly. But like I said, Alexis Louder was, that was a nice surprise. She was amazing. She was totally kick-ass, which is great for girls that want to see 
a girl who's playing not only a cop, but that she does it really well and she doesn't take any bullshit. Mm -hmm. I mean, she really stood her own against these two. And yeah. Gerard Butler, he's a big dude. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, the character was amazing. The way she portrayed the character mm -hmm. was amazing. Yeah. She just really shined on camera. Yeah. The character was great. The delivery was great. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll have to say that this movie opens up, and if you're a fan of, like, Grindhouse type of film, that grit and grind from the 70s was there in the beginning. And it's like, oh, this is going to be fun. And it kind of changes throughout the entire course, but wow, yeah. You get sucked in with that beginning, and then the movie just runs its course where you have to see how it plays out between, you know, Frank Rillo's character and Gerard Butler's character. Yeah. Though I will say Frank Grillo's uh, wardrobe kept in time with that whole 70s. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was like bell bottoms and like, you know, like pointed shoes. Like he totally kept in line with that 70s vibe. Yes. And <laughs> and like Toby Huss, his character, amazing. Yes. He was essentially the comic relief of the film. Yeah. And it didn't yeah. hurt the film. It actually elevated it. Yeah. yeah. I think it was nice to have some comic relief in there and not that there wasn't already because some of the other actors the way they played off each other was comedic but he was the comic relief i mean mm -hmm. he was definitely the comedian of the whole movie good story good characters good action good twists in this movie so it had everything with that the, the way this movie came out it had everything. yeah yeah it really did mm -hmm. i really really enjoyed it so what do you rate this one I am going to rate this an A+. Plus. Good. Now, you know my rule. It has to have the music in there to hit an A+. Plus, but I'm breaking my rule because it's my rule. <laughs> so I'm going A+, plus with this one as well. That's it. It's rewatchable. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's got good action. It's got, you know, great casting in it. It hits all the check boxes, except for music. The music is okay. It's... Honestly, I don't remember the music because I was just so. I was just gonna say that I don't. I know that there was music. I think, but I don't remember it because I was so into the movie, yep. which is why I would I give it an A plus because I was so into the movie I didn't even realize there was music. So that gives it an A plus right off. Yeah, this is going to be one of those films like John Wick that when it comes on, it's going to be on TV or cable or. Wherever streaming sites, it's like, oh, click, it stays on. Mm -hmm. so, Definitely. Yeah. Which is good because, you know, you need to like mix it up a little bit. Can't always be John Wick, right? <laughs> no, it can always be John Wick. <laughs> I don't care what she says. John Wick 1, 2, and 3, marathons. Yes, John Wick is on whenever I get a chance to watch it. Anyway, make sure that you like, subscribe. Turn on the notifications and share. Yes. That's the most important one. Share, share, share. Yes. Definitely subscribe. Oh, yeah. Definitely. We want you to subscribe. Yes. So, what did you think about this film? So, you know, drop that in the comments. You no. Know, what action movies did you like this year? Well, there's Boss Level, there's Nobody, and then there's Cop Shop. And, you know, Nobody is starting to really plummet down there with these last two action films that came out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until the next. See ya. See ya.